What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to be talking about something that is always talked about underneath a lot of my videos. It's always talking about the Glock 26 being too small because your pinky hangs off. Stuff like this revolver, not enough meat on the grip, and so on. But then I find it interesting when it comes down to techniques and shooting and practice and training that you can honestly master any firearm, and that's just being real. For instance, I like to go back to Hickok 45 because that man is six foot nine. he has huge hands, but yet he handles all these firearms fine. And yes, he is an exception. He puts plenty of rounds down range, blah, 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 um, shoots a ton, but so can all of us. Not as much as him, but we can all shoot a lot. We can all train a lot, and we can all practice with these firearms to get used to them. Now, he said his number one pocket carry option would be the 642 air weight. If you could only keep one, he said it would be this. Guys, your pinky's never going to sit on a revolver like this, right? You got like one and a half fingers on it, and it is what it is, right? But you learn to shoot it, and honestly, there's very little recoil in this firearm. It's very light, great for pocket carry. Five rounds, you know, it is what it is. Say what you want about that. But that was his choice, and he has a lot of experience in firearms and shooting these things and the firearm industry itself. And this was his choice. None of these new firearms, it was this right here. Chose over the P365, over the Hellcat, over the 43, over the 43X, and so on. But when it comes down to the 26, this was his go to carry. For many many years I don't know exactly what he carries right now as his main carry but he said in many videos his Glock 26 was his go-to main carry and you know what I don't think I've ever seen him shoot with a pinky extension and his were always gen 3s and gen 4s so people always complain about the finger grooves and stuff I bet his fingers sitting like here and here or something but yet he carried the 26 because he understood the reliability behind it the shootability the fact that this pinky really means nothing when you break it down this is more a mental thing when you can tuck it right here, it is just fine. Yes, people are going to say mag releases or mag changes, right? But obviously, you just move it out of the way. It's going to be a little different training. But when it comes to actual shootability, you do not need the pinky on the firearm. I try to explain this to people. It's all about your training, all about your grip, all about that stuff. And I do have a um, basically a video to show you guys how I shoot, how I maintain recoil, how I handle it, and so on based off my grip. Now, the Glock 26 came out in 1995. And was carried by millions of people. Backup um, weapon for law enforcement and so on. But Hickok 45 being 6'9 with massive hands. Choosing this over. I'm sure he could seal Glock 19. No problem. I'm sure he could conceal Glock 17. No problem. Lord knows I can't but I know he could. Right? But yet he chose the Glock 26. Because he knows how small it is. How concealable, concealable it is. How easy it is to carry. How it doesn't get in the way. How short this grip is is actually a plus for everyday carry. Now in shootability, you can say mentally, um, it does affect your shooting, but when it comes down to actually shooting and performance, I have many videos up on my channel, me shooting with a pinky extension versus not, and the groupings are nearly identical, same rate of fire, all that stuff. And that's simply based off your training. And no, you don't have to go and shoot a thousand rounds every weekend. You can put 50 rounds of good, solid practice and training through your firearm and really master it. You can really realize that this pinky hanging off does very little. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.